people other than you and you. How about you? What you could do is, you could also write it at, at n plus 1 plus n plus n minus 1 and so on. Mm -hmm. And in those, what happens is that n, that the n plus 1, n minus 1, if, if you were to take that and add the 1 to it, Okay, okay. I think you're doing something similar to what we did in the previous group, but we're trying to do this by induction now. So good, but not what we're trying to do now. You? Um, well, if you prove that up until n is equal to, um, is, is true, you can say um, n plus 1 plus n minus 1 and then you just add n plus 1. Okay, cool. So, can you see that this is the same as the left-hand side of the induction hypothesis? Oh, by the way, this that you're allowed to put, or allowed to assume is called the induction hypothesis. It's kind of like you know when you do hypothesis in physics or whatever, you have to think similar to that. So this part is the same as that left-hand side. So, we know that this first part is n times n plus 1 over 2, and then we still have the other n plus 1. Oh, and then it's simple um, algebra. You put that, so you make that 2n plus 2 over 2, you put it together, you take out the factor of n plus 1, and ta-da, you get that. Cool. Cool. So that is like simple, obvious proof by induction. Um, now we're going to do a similarly easy problem. Basically, I want you to do it. So you're going to take pen and paper and write down the proof and then you can give it back to me. Okay, and this and I know this is going to look very stupid and very really easy. The point is to learn how to write it down. So I want you to prove that 1 plus 1 plus 1 up until 1 n times is n. I know it's obvious, it's stupid, it doesn't matter. I want you to write down a proof using induction that this is true. And I'll give you five minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be writing stuff. Don't worry about that. Thank you. 